This tutorial is for third grade, module five, lesson nine. In this lesson, we're going to look at unit fractions when we have more than one whole. The directions here say each figure represents one whole, and we are to fill in the charts to show the unit fraction, the total number of units shaded, and the fraction shaded. The key here is that each of these shapes is considered one whole. We need to focus on just one shape when we determine our unit fraction. So if I look at my diamond, it's been divided into two pieces, so each piece would be considered one half. When I look at all three shapes, there are five of those halves shaded. That means that altogether we have five halves. In the next problem, I have two squares. Each square has been divided into eight pieces. So if I take a look at just one of those pieces, my unit fraction would be 1 eighth. I'm only looking at one piece and how it relates to the one whole. Altogether, I have 15 pieces that are shaded. That means in fraction form, we have 15 eighths that are shaded. It takes eight pieces to make a hole, and I have more than one hole. I have 15 of those pieces. In the next question, you can see that my one hole has been divided into six pieces, so each of those pieces would be considered one-sixth. I have two pieces shaded. So the total number of shaded pieces is two. And altogether, I have two sixth shaded in the picture. So it doesn't matter how many holes we have, each piece is still one sixth because it takes six of them to create one hole. In the next section, we're going to draw in and shade the given fractions. I'm given eight sixths to begin with. Well, sixths means it takes six to make a hole. Since I have eight, I know that I have more than one hole. So I'm going to divide my tapes into sixths because that's the unit fraction. So we'll take each of these and divide them into six equal pieces. Now I just need to shade in eight of those pieces. And here's my eight six. I have six six that make up the first hole, and then two more six to give me a total of eight six. The next question asks us for seven fourths. Fourths is my unit fraction, so I'm going to divide each tape into four equal pieces, each piece representing one fourth. It's asking for seven fourths, so now I need to shade in seven of those fourths. And you can see that this fraction is also more than one whole. I shaded in four fourths to make one whole and three more fourths to give me the total of seven fourths. In the next problem, I'm given the fraction and I need to write the unit form. The numerator tells me that I have six pieces. The denominator tells me that each piece is a fifth. So I need to show six fifths on my tapes. I'm going to start by dividing them into five equal pieces. And I'll shade in six of the pieces. And you can see that I have five fifths that make up one whole and one more fifth to give me six fifths. The last problem is five halves. That means I have five pieces and each piece is a half. I have three holes down here because to get five halves, I'm going to need more than two holes. So I've divided each hole into two pieces to show my halves. Now I just need to shade in five of those pieces. And there are my five halves, and you can see why I needed three holes to show them. And again, the purpose of this lesson is to show it doesn't matter how many holes you have. Your unit fraction always refers to the number of pieces it takes just to make one hole. 